Hello, my name is Justin Adams, and welcome to Jay's Days. Today, I'm going to be doing a movie that uh, was kind of released earlier, but was not released anywhere in my town at all. So now it's finally released on Amazon, where I thought it was supposed to be premiering because it is from Amazon Studios, but fuck me. Um, it is Chirac. It is the new Spike Lee joint. It is written and directed by him, and... It's kind of going back to his roots because uh, his his last few movies have been either remakes like Inside Man or Old Boy, we'll see, um, or they're just weird attempts to go back to indie movies like The Sweet Blood of Jesus and Red Hook Summer. These are movies that that didn't do so well. Besides Inside Man, minus that one, that one did fine. But the th the three others that I mentioned, they did not do well. I'm just gonna sit out. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and then we're gonna see what's happening. He kept trying, he kept trying, and guess what, guys? Chirac happened. I did not think that this movie was gonna be good. I saw that, how many, it just, the, the cast worried me. The, the cast was just a bunch of random people that I believe can pick up the phone and be like, yeah, sure, I'll do it, because John Cusack, he's, he's great, I love him, but he's in a bunch of straight-to-DVD movies. Nick Cannon, <laughs> um, Jennifer Hudson, I love her again, but she's just, she's just not... In, they're not in big things anymore. And then I saw Dave Chappelle, and I was like, oh my god. Like a quick second, Wesley Snipes is in it. There's just all these random people, and Samuel Jackson, which I love, but again, these are people that I believe you can just pick up the phone and call them, and they'll be like, what's that, Spike? Okay, yeah, I'll do your little movie. It's a combination of two Spike Lee movies, in my mind. One is an amazing, my favorite Spike Lee movie of all time, Do the Right Thing. Do the Right Thing tells a story about a neighborhood, while they go through a, this, the tiniest fight against this this pizzeria who won't allow uh, black people to be on his wall. And then my one of my least favorites is School Days, because School Days is just ridiculous. And I don't know, I just don't enjoy it. Now, Chirac to me is both of them combined, but it is the best of School Days, and it is the, the eh of Do the Right Thing, you know? Like, I think Do the Right Thing is very hard to talk. Now, Chirac, let's get to that. Um, I was not a, I was not a fan, like I said before, like when I saw the trailer, because again, I thought that the timing was very fucked up. I, I don't like how directors, this, like I'm speaking of George Clooney too, I love George Clooney, but he does this too. They release movies that are their political views, their, their views of the world, and they release it the wrong timing, and it just, it makes them look a little too, too pretentious, too like, I can, I can save the world, I have money, I can do it. But, you know what? This movie is phenomenal. It is a, a Greek adaptation from the play Lestrada. I'm not going to even try to attempt the dude's name. But it is about this girl, Lestrada, who decides to do the sex strike. And she says, no, you guys have no peace? Then there's going to be no pussy. <laughs> do not put down your guns. We are not going to have sex with you. And they start this whole strike. Now, this is where the movie either turns you on or turns you off. It did both for me. The opening sequence is basically like a lyric video you'll find on YouTube, which I was like, okay, this was pretty unneeded, but it was whatever. And then it got to uh, how many deaths happened and compared with uh, Iraq and all these other countries. And I was like, damn, okay, this movie's going somewhere. And then Samuel Jackson starts talking. And you're like, okay, this movie's fucking awesome. This is this is what I want Spike Lee to be. Like the the story starts drifting to hardcore drama once Jennifer Hudson finds out that her daughter got shot in the eye by a stray bullet. So that, that kind of brings Lestrade and she's just like, you know what, I'm, I'm, because she's the boyfriend of Nick Cannon, who's also named, his nickname is Chirac, and she's like, I think I'm going to die doing this, and you know what, I don't, I don't think I want to die by, by representing a gang that I'm, I don't even want to be a part of. It's just, they kind of treat it as a comedy after that, and no problem there. Spike Lee released a huge video after the trailer, because everyone was like, you're trying to make fun of, sh of Chicago at a terrible time. And he's like, no, it is a satire. I can see where he brings the satire, but then again, I do not think the satire is in the right place. Like, there's, there's like some serious shit going on. Like, a a little kid got murdered, got like shot in the eye, and Jennifer Hudson, and John Cusack are running around trying to find the murderers the, the entire movie. That's a super powerful, sad story. And then it goes on to the sex strike thing, which again is is bringing the story somewhere, like, it's what the movie, the entire movie is about, but it's the way that they treat it, there's this one scene where Lestrada goes to, um, this Republican, this, this dude who's, like, he, he loves, uh, the South, he has, he has the Confederate flag and shit, and it goes full-on wacky, 
and it just did not feel right, man. Like, there are some hardcore tonal inconsistencies, especially towards the end. Like, it seems like Spike Lee really had a thought-out plan of what to do in the beginning and stuff like that, but once it got to the, got to the end, it just it just kind of goes all over the place. Like, there's a bed people are watching. It's, it's, it's just strange. It just goes to a really, really weird uh, territory. But I feel like this just does... This movie portrays gun violence and how it's scary to live near it and how it's, you can literally die every day. And I think that's good because I cared about, I started really, really, even like Nick Cannon's character, Chirac, we should, we should talk about him. Nick Cannon is really, really good in this movie. I mean, really, really good in this movie. Like really, 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 I did not think I was ever going to say that. And to think that he's playing like a successful rapper that everyone likes too is kind of unbelievable to say. but. He is so, like, I think the reason why I love him so much is that he's not the center of the movie, which the trailer and his name made it seem to be. It seemed like he was going to be the entire focus, and it was going to be Nick Cannon's dramatic turn, a Spike Lee movie, but it's not at all. He's a hardcore supporting role, and he he does it so well. He's this gangster who is, like, he just, he kind of did something shady, and he's kind of living with it, and you can see and sense his pain, and I believe everything that came out of Nick Cannon's mouth, fuck up her name, T I'm gonna look so white, Tione, Tione Paris, I fucked up her name, I'm sorry, but she, this girl, man, she is the one, she's the reason to watch this movie, she was in Dear White People, and she was great in that, but in this movie, she takes this entire story, and she, it is hers, she is the leader of the strike, she is the leader of this movie, she is just, she is awesome, I love her, she is sexy, she is raw, she is strong, she is smart, that's, a, that's an awesome thing that I think women, especially black women, can, can hard, hardcore appreciate, this girl is a strong African American woman who is saying no, she's just being like, hey guys, I am putting my vagina down, and I am bringing all of your girlfriends with me. Overall, while it does have some uneven and incoherent scenes, it's, it's still a really good, thought-provoking movie. And you know what? It's the best out of Spike Lee I think we're ever going to get. And it's literally the best out of him for me since Do the Right Thing. And I love Do the Right Thing. Like, even in my notes, I just started writing, I started nitpicking, like, being like, oh, this is stupid, and that's stupid. But then after a while, I was like, why am I, this is great. This is great. This, this movie is just, it brings Spike Lee back. Alright guys, if you guys want to check out Chirac, you guys can. It's $9.99 on Amazon, but I suggest that you guys wait until uh, February 4th, 2016. That is when it's going to be on Prime. If you guys do not have Prime and you guys have Amazon, then check that out because Prime is really cool. I suggest that you guys get it. Alright guys, that's what I think about Chirac. What do you guys think about it? If you, if you guys have seen it, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And guys, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at I'm just underscore 420 And you can subscribe, like, share, blah, blah, blah. Yes.